Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Bit of a quiet Friday today before Everton travel to uh, Southampton tomorrow for a really important game. Really, really important game uh, against the Saints. Uh, there has been some images today, though, of Everton training at Goodison Park yesterday. Um, what a fantastic tree for the fans that were there. Um, but obviously... Time ticking away now for, you know, for Goodison Park before the move to the uh, Everton's new stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. And some more details have emerged today of um, things that look like they will be happening at the end of the season. Um, first reported in the Liverpool Echo, uh, a licensing application has been made to Liverpool Council to allow music to be played through May and June, as well as a bid to save alcohol for uh, three events that will be happening at Goodison Park. Uh, the Farewell to Goodison Festival, would run across three nights and an afternoon featuring live music between the May the 30th and June the 1st. The evening sessions would run from 5 to 10 p.m. with a Saturday show for young people between 1 and 3. Each evening would feature a different genre of music, including dance, pop and guitar music. Uh, under the plans, the ground would be vacated by 11, 11 o'clock. Uh, the club has sought permission from the council um, licensing department in a similar way to the way Anfield has the concerts um, you know at Anfield during the summer obviously you need Taylor Swift there this summer gone um, and obviously similar to what we saw when Tony Bell you fought in 2016 um, Everton have requested a limited license to permit the sale of alcohol playing of live live and record music film and performance of dance on a total number of three days um, between May the 19th and June the 2nd uh, to allow for concert events um, and the light it will be licensable activities would only be permitted between 11 a.m and 10 p.m obviously because of the location uh, a letter was sent from Everton in the community's neighborhood manager Sarah Atherton um, to make the events a reality, a 20,000 seater stand and a stage will be built to host the three shows in the front of the Gladys East End. It is thought the junior event would be a smaller capacity. And uh, Miss Atherton wrote a rare and unique opportunity to experience an event of this nature at Goodison Park. A series of public meetings regarding the proposals were held in July with residents around Goodison Park to inform them of the planning. So, Everton obviously want to. Um, do more than just have, you know, the last game against Southampton. You know, it's the, it's going to be the day after the FA Cup final, the second to last weekend. Obviously, we hope it's a really jo joyous um, uh, day and hopefully it doesn't really matter. You know, obviously we want Everton to win, but obviously we hope by then the, the game itself, it doesn't really matter and it'll be what happens after that game. But of course, to cram in, what the you know over a hundred years of memories um of the stadium um you know would take more than just one day for a lot of people um I'm sure that after the game my feelings is I'm sure Evan will be looking for an early kickoff on that Sunday like a one or a two o'clock so that maybe the ground can be open afterwards um and alcohol maybe could be served after the game so people can enjoy it and just sit in the ground and and just take it in with the people that go to the game because I can't imagine anyone will want to leave that game early. Um, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure it, it, we all. You know, we're all looking forward to that day, but at the same time, not looking forward to that day. So having an extra event on or an extra three events on for more people and for people to be able to come in on a non-footballing day and be able to enjoy the game. Because let's be honest, if there's no football, I'm sure it would just be great, wouldn't it? Um, it will give people something to look forward to as well, as as well as the football and non-footballing day. Um, and I'm sure there'll be other events before that as well that Everton obviously haven't revealed yet. We'll have to wait and see on that. But um, it could be a very special occasion, those three days. So I imagine those things will go ahead. I can't see there being any... Um, I can't see anything stopping them with 
the fact of it is such a special event and the fact that basically everyone has to be out of the ground by 10 o'clock or, or basically all the drinking has to be stopped by 10 o'clock anyway. So we'll wait and see. And when we get more news on that, we'll let you know and also let you know how you will be able to get tickets for those events. Um, talking about, obviously, final days of Goodison Park and, and events going on. Everton women play Chelsea on Sunday at Goodison Park. So if you're looking for, again, another opportunity to get to Goodison Park, if you haven't been lucky enough or you want to take your daughter or you want to take your son or your grandchildren, whatever it is, Sunday's a brilliant opportunity. Um, Everton women have been struggling a little bit this season. They, they've they've really sort of took the brunt of the financial um, stuff that's gone at Everton in the last couple of years. They really have been cut. And again, this summer, they lost a lot of players. And also players they brought in have been really unlucky with injuries. I think a couple of them have ACLs in, first, you know, in the first couple of weeks of the season. So... You know, if if a if a big crowd could be there on Sunday to push them on, that would be massive for them because the those you know they're they're at the other end of things and they don't have the massive contracts and um they have really been struggling. Whereas Everton, obviously the first team, that's where all the money's going to go, and we've we've managed to still get deals done and sell players. But for the women, it really has been tough. So if you fancy that one last trip or or a, the first trip for someone in your family that's never been and has been desperate to go, this is a great opportunity to go to Goodison Park for one of the of the last few times. Uh, other games over the weekend, Everton uh, under-21s are playing Stoke tomorrow in Premier League 2. The under-18s will be playing um, Derby County uh, at uh, 12 o'clock as well. I'm sure both of them will be looking for good results after good results last weekend as well. Uh, Everton have been linked with a couple of uh, young players from the championship as well, as you know, there's talk of the possibility of money coming into the club with a new owner. Uh, Everton have been Chris, uh, linked with Chris Rigg and Tom Fellows from West Brom. Chris Rigg obviously doing really, really well at uh, Sunderland. And apparently the in there is, listen, this player has been gathering interest from lots and lots of big clubs from all over U- Europe. But the in there apparently is Jordan Pickford, who... Um, was made made well known uh, of the player, uh, you know, three or four years ago, um, and he could be the in possibly. Listen, it'd be tough to get him. Suddenly they're doing really well. I think the top at the moment, and you know they're going for the Premier League. So to get for him to leave would would take a lot, and it would take someone somewhere. Sorry, where he would be straight into the first team as well. And as there's a clear idea of what his future plans is going to be, but. Um, Apparently, that's the in. And Evan also, as I said, being linked to Tom Fellows, a little bit older. I think he's 21, doing really well at West Brom as well. So uh, they would be great options for uh, the attack um, and maybe that right midfield spot, which has become a little bit um, hard to fill, let's say, or the, the players who have played in that position haven't really took their chance as such. I'm sure Jack Harrison will be starting tomorrow. And if you want to know more of my team, the Start 11 show is out now. So go and check that out as well as the match preview with Baz and myself. So yeah, being linked with them, we'll wait and see if we get any more on that during the next uh, weeks and months ahead of, uh, well, it's the first, isn't it? So it's a couple of months now till, till that window opens in January. There you go. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. You've got more great videos. Join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.